Right now, if we look at our page here, it's very plain. We haven't applied any CSS styles to our pages yet. So in this video, let's try to enable static file middleware to support the use of static files like images, scripts, or CSS files in our application. In our application, we want to use Bootstrap to style our application. So therefore, I have gone to getbootstrap.com and go to the download link over here and click on the download button. I have already downloaded all of the files that is needed to be added to our application. So in order to add static files to our application, we need to create a special folder and that is called www root. And when I create it, you can see that it shows a special icon. This means that this anything that is under this folder will be publicly exposed to the whole world. Yeah, because those are static files like images, scripts. So those files need to be accessible to any pages in the application and also accessible to the outside world. Here, I want to create a subfolder and I'm going to call it lab. So it stands for library and then another subfolder and I'm going to call it bootstrap. After that, we paste everything that I downloaded into the bootstrap folder. And you can see the CSS files and there's JavaScript files that came with bootstrap. And of course, they're showing up over here. So now, since this folder is exposed outside, if we run our application, we should be able to just access any of these files through the browser. So let's try to give it a try. Okay. So if we go to lab slash bootstrap, slash CSS. And then inside the CSS, we have this bootstrap.css. So let's go to bootstrap.css. However, it says that the location cannot be found. So what has gone wrong? Actually, in our application, the access to the static files are not enabled yet. In order to enable that, we need to add the static file middleware. So we can say app dot use static files. So with this middleware added, it's been on a core will be able to go into the WW root folder to locate the static file that is requested. So with this middleware added, let's get a try again. Again, let's go to lab slash bootstrap slash CSS slash bootstrap dot CSS. And now you can see the bootstrap.css file is loaded on the page. With the CSS file added, let's reference the CSS file in our layout file. So let's go to shared, layout, and then inside the head, we can use a link element here, reference to style sheet. And then here we can point to lab bootstrap CSS and bootstrap.css. Now we can work on making the application look slightly more beautiful. I'm going to add a container class over here, which is a bootstrap container. And let's run the application again and see whether it makes any differences or not. Now you can see it looks completely different. Uh, right now I have 150%. So let's zoom out and this is 100%. So you can see the home page looks different. Categories page also looks different. Inside here, everything looks different and slightly more beautiful. It has a margin on the left and a margin on the right. And I'm going to copy and paste a header that I prepared so that we can have a menu bar on the top. Okay, I pasted this header over here. And this comes from Bootstrap as well. There's examples, you can copy them and just use them. I created this empty menu bar. And if we want to add some items here, we can add them like this. First, we'll add a list item. And then this is going to have a nav item as a class. And then inside here, we can just add an anchor link. We're going to use these two classes as the class. And we are going to navigate to, let's say, the home page and index action method. And here, we're just going to say home. And we can add another one, which goes to our categories page. So I'm going to say categories. And do you still remember what is the URL that goes to the categories page? That is categories and index. 
So with this change made, hopefully we can see the beautiful menu bar. Okay, the menu bar is showing on the top. We click on the home, it goes to the same page. We click on categories, it goes to the categories page with the beverage link and meat link here. Click on the category, it goes to the category number one. Going back, click on meat, go to category number two. So in this video, we use the static file middleware to support the use of static files. And we have used bootstrap navigation bars to implement in the menu bar. And that's all I want to cover in this video. And I'll see you in the next one.